Hi, my name is Elle and I am learning to be a seamstress. So today's video is a little bit different. I'm taking part in yet another challenge. Um, I love these Instagram sewing challenges and I just get involved in every single one. So this one is called hashtag so new in June and it's run by Jess from So What If I Sew and it is to celebrate her one year anniversary of her account and it's all about expanding your sewing horizons. So sewing with a new fabric, sewing with a new pattern, sewing a new fastening, sewing something that you have not tried to do before, pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. And I love me a good old challenge where I'm clearly going to make a mistake because love to do those mistakes. Um, so I was thinking, what can I do that I've not done before? Or what is a new skill that I need to work on? Oh God, this is so messy. Oh, well, it's done now. Okay, so I wanted to do something where I didn't have to spend any money. So I looked in my stash for some fabric. So I'm gonna be focusing on the new fabric aspect of this challenge. I found this chiffon, chiffon, that I've had in my stash. Oh. I've had it in my stash since the beginning of my sewing journey. It's also just like not very me. It's very floral. I mean, says the girl wearing a floral jumper. Um, and I've decided to make a wilder gown. Now, when I first started sewing, I bought any fabric online. I just thought I liked the look of I bought it without realizing like what kind of fabric it was. So I bought this chiffon and another one, another chiffon, which I did make a wilder gown out of. I want to stress that. In my first month of sewing, idiot that I am, I made a wilder gown out of chiffon and it was a horrific experience. And the garment is now unwearable because it's got holes in it. It's got like, the seams are ripping apart. It's not constructed very well. It like itches because I should have probably French seamed it. I couldn't overlock it. Oh, just so many mistakes. And I'll show you a photo of it. It looks nice, but underneath that, not nice. So. I know that this is a new fabric challenge, but I'm, I said to myself after that day, I'm never sewing with chiffon ever again. So in that respect, I'm trying it again. I'm still trying something new. I'm going to see if I have become a better seamstress in the last year that I can sew with this and it will be a success. And I won't want to tear my hair out. So let's see how it goes. All my pieces are cut out. Um, obviously, I know with chiffon, you're supposed to use a cutting mat and a rotary blade, but because it's so many big pieces, I just felt like I just couldn't do it that way. Um, I couldn't keep moving the cutting board along and also my rotary is a bit blunt. But anyway, so I went with scissors and pattern weights, which were coasters, um, and I think it went okay. Now, I do want to try and do it with French seams because... I don't know if I should overlock chiffon. Maybe I could overlock it. But why am I making this so difficult for myself? Also, I'm very aware that I look very disheveled, but this is what I'm like when I'm sewing. Catch you in a bit after I've tried and attempted to do the bodice. Wish me luck. Okay, so I've just finished the first step and it was tricky. So as you can see, this is the front and I had to turn over the edge and like press it under and top stitch it, which was very, very fiddly with this material. But it's done and I'm gonna move on to the next part. So I've done the French seams on the sleeves. I don't know how much you can see, but um, this is it inside out. That's the front bodice. 
I've done the French seams. So when I turn it the right way out, hopefully it all looks nice and neat thus far. So as usual, I've made a mistake when doing the French seams. So it looks like a lovely bodice from the front. This sleeve is perfect with all the French seams inside. And then the other side, not so perfect as I've done the French seams on the wrong side. So the outside of my garment has the visible seam and the inside has the French seam. So I'm gonna to have to unpick all that. <sighs> For goodness sake. I'm not happy. Every time I come on camera, I'm wearing something different, but I swear this is still the same day. Um, I've unpicked everything and re-sewn it with the French seams correctly. It's so hard to unpick chiffon, as I'm sure you're aware, because it's so fine. And every time you put the needle through, it makes a hole. So even when I was unpicking, there were still some visible holes, but the sleeves are so much better. And we go on, we continue. Okay, so I promise you it is still the same day, but I stupidly got ready for football. So I've got football training tonight before filming the last bit of the video for today. Um, so I have completed the top half of the dress. So that is all of the bodice done with French seams and the necktie. Maybe I'll put it on the mannequin so you can see better. Here she is currently. So I've done the neck. I folded over the neck, um, the, like the, what is it called? The collar to make the channel for the neck band. I have hemmed the sleeves and obviously it's super frayed at the bottom because classic chiffon. I'm really enjoying the pattern placement. Um, I actually think it's turned out really lovely, much better than my first one. So now I just need to add the first tier with the gathers and the second tier. I am running out of time. Um, I thought I could get it all done today. <laughs> that did not happen. Um, so yeah, let's see if I have time before I go to work tomorrow morning because it needs to be done in time for the challenge. So I didn't have enough time to finish the dress at home. So I'm just gonna finish it off at college. And this is the industrial machine that I use. So the bottom tiers of the dress are made up of large rectangles and obviously mine look a bit skew with. So I'm just going to neaten them up a little bit. Oh dear. I would not recommend trying to sew with one hand and film with the other. Also, I cannot tell you how much fluff and all sorts and threads I got everywhere from sewing with this fabric. But here it is. Here are all my gathers put into my skirt and ready to be attached to the bodice. Oh my God, the first tier is on. Very, very happy with it. And then the second tier was added in exactly the same way with the gathers. So it is now complete. It just needs to be hemmed and I'll speak more about it in a second. So this is it. It is finished. Um, it was a bit of a slog towards the end because I stupidly thought I was going to get it all done in one day and then that didn't happen. So when I went to college yesterday, um, it was my last day of college. I've now finished for the whole year I've graduated. I'll find out my result next month. Um, so my, I went into college and even though I'd finished all my work last week, so I'd handed everything in, I thought, oh, I'll go in and use this opportunity to use the sewing machines, which is what you've just seen. So I managed to finish it in like an hour and a half. But the long story short, the college was closing. So I had like half an hour to do all of the French scenes for the last tier and it was stressful and they're not as pretty as the other ones. Um, but overall, I'm so happy with it. I guess I need to talk about the process of sewing with chiffon. Um, it was tricky to cut out. I think 
that was my biggest thing. I know that some people use the sticky back um, like paper that you stick the fabric on and then cut round because it gives it more sturdiness. I'm a lazy sewist, so that kind of just didn't even appeal to me because I just wanted to kind of cut it out and see what happened without having to use the extra um, bits and pieces that I have read about. Um, maybe next time I would, but if I'm honest, probably not. It wasn't if it was cutting out smaller, more intricate pieces, yes. But this was made up the majority of panels and then front back sleeves. So it wasn't crazy, tiny little pieces which were sliding all over the place, which in that instance, I would have either used that that paper or my rotary cutter. Um, sewing it, I used, obviously I used pins for the gatherings on the tiers, but I actually didn't use pins when I was putting in the sleeves um, because I felt like obviously my, my pins were piercing the fabric quite a lot. So I just thought it was easier just to be really slow, um, hold the pieces together and then kind of do it by hand, which probably again is not what people would recommend. I used a fine machine needle on this sewing machine and then it, at college they just have the standard needle on the industrial machines. Um, I haven't tried pressing it. I did press the hem, which was really helpful. Although it did like do these weird bits at the bottom where I was like hemming and um, it kind of puckered a little bit. I'm not really sure why. But yeah, I really love it. Obviously it's see-through and I will be wearing a slip underneath. I'm really proud of myself. I kind of wrote this fabric off and was going to throw it, well not throw it, or give it away or give it to a charity shop because I, as I said at the beginning, this time last year when I was making it my first chiffon mold to I thought that's it, I'm never doing that again because it was just so stressful and so I'm really proud that I gave it another shot and I obviously did it for this challenge for So What If I Sew and I don't know if I'll be sewing with chiffon regularly but it does look so beautiful and it, it does have a really glamorous, feminine look to it. And it's just so lovely and drapey. And it really works well with this pattern. So who knows? I did get this fabric from Pound Fabrics. And it was £3 for three metres. So it was an absolute bargain. And it definitely doesn't look like a three-pound dress, if I say so myself. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going on holiday tomorrow to Devon. So I'm actually filming this a week before I'm going to post it. Um, so I might be off grid for a little bit, but I'm super excited to relax and do some reading. Oh yeah, where is my book? I was recommended this book and I'm definitely going to read it on holiday. I'll do a little review next time when I do my next vlog. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.